Hello, hi everyone, <clears throat> and a uh, very good evening, late evening to all of you. Um, I uh, am an I, I am a night owl, and um, for me, uh, doing tarot readings in the middle of the night with candles. It just makes me feel really mystical and happy. So here I am with, um, you know, a, a pick a card reading. Um, the question being today, um, what are the love messages that the universe has to give us? <clears throat> we have three piles here. Pile number one, pile number, one, pile number two, pile number three. And um, pile number one is the um, amethyst. Pile number two is the <clears throat> citrine stone. And pile number three is the green aventurine. So please pick away. I will pause for about five six seconds i hope that's enough for you or you can pause the video and um make a choice and then we'll start okay so let's start with pile number one what message what message of love does the universe have for pile number one people? I'm going to put this away for the moment. And let's see the cards. I'm going to show you the cards. The first card is choose a new direction. The second card is, wow, transformation. The third oracle card is yin. And now we come to the tarot cards. Princess of Cups, Ten of Cups, Justice. We have another set of tarot cards. Wow, the lovers, the lovers. Two of Swords, and the Page, sorry, the Knight of Cups. Hmm, so let me look at this. <clears throat> So please remember, um, whatever resonates with you is fine. Otherwise, please, please ignore and go on to either choosing another pile or, you know, to some other reader because sometimes you can just get messages from the most unusual of sources. Um, <clears throat> also, this is a timeless reading. So whenever you see this, this would be your message. Now, um, what does the universe want to say to group one about love? So the first thing that I get from choose a new direction and transmutation, these two cards to me um, are somehow indicating that possibly uh, you are 
in the midst of a change or a transformation um, probably um, something has changed within you um, you have um, I, I, I get the sense that you've come into your own power now and nothing can stop you you have won the victory of um, yourself and now um, there is a new direction for you to follow which looks really beautiful with all the lights that you can see there's a celebration happening there's possibly even a wedding happening here so yes um, it's time for you to choose a new direction um, in line with uh, the transmutation or the breakthrough or the rejuvenation that you've just experienced within yourself now um, the yin card is typically um, so if you see all these pink energies here and uh, it's very beautiful it's, it's a typically feminine card it's it's the divine feminine you need to embody whether you are a man or a woman you need to embody um, the yin the yin energy now at this point be receptive yes I know that you've just gone through something and it must have been very um, transformative it must have been and transformations sometimes are not very easy but it's telling you this card is telling you to take it easy to be receptive be quiet and let things happen be the receiver at this point be the receiver you've done the action the universe wanted up until now but now it's time for you to become the receiver so watch and wait now obviously when I say um, transmutation I say transmutation in love because we are talking about a love reading here so something has happened um, I feel I mean I'm seeing the Phoenix in this card this this person is rising like the Phoenix and uh, I feel it might it, it's possible that um, um, you uh, have gone through something tough something um, painful and then come out of that process stronger and so now is the time to choose a new direction you know in love so let us say you have someone who um, you were involved with and somehow for some reason it didn't work out and so now you've healed and now it's time to take a new direction and choose someone else when you start that search however be as receptive and feminine and you know embody the feminine energy because being receptive is what brings is what brings you what you want from the universe effortlessly now i shall go to the tarot cards <clears throat> the first card we have got is the lovers and now i'm sure you must be interested in my deck so uh, this deck is called um, the universal love tarot it has this kind of a back it has this kind of a these kind of cards and um, uh, <clears throat> this is a universal love tarot this is the angel answers uh, oracle this is wisdom of the oracle from Colette Baron Reed um, this is the pre-Raphaelite tarot I, I find it beautiful I find it transportive uh, in the terms that you know when I look at the pictures they just transport me back to some era where there were gods and goddesses and it's just simply beautiful anyways getting back to the topic um, so there is an opportunity for love that is present um, and uh, there is also the chance for a happy ending with this love so 
Ten of Cups, Lovers. So there is a chance for uh, love, finding love and happiness. But before that, there are some things that need to happen. First being the Justice card, meaning balancing the scales. You have just come out of a transformative period. You are healing. You're ready to take a new direction. Everything is fine. And now you need to balance your skills. No more code codependencies. Um, no more um, runner chaser dynamics. Uh, just come into your power. Come into your love. And love yourself for the moment balance your scales don't let them dip too much in on either side once you do this once you do this and i'm sure that comes after all of this once you've done this on the journey to love i do see this happy ending with the ten of cups and the lovers The other thing that needs to happen before you find this love is to decide. Decide which direction will you take. Are you going to um, take the same road that you've traveled till now? Or will you, you know, chart a new path? If you do things the way you've always been doing them you'll get the same results as they say so choose a direction do not um, stick in one place not making either choice because you would then be delaying the coming of love and as I said page of cups and page of cups so there there is a very solid energy of page of cups in this spread meaning that there is someone who will bring you an offer or message of love but only when you're ready only when you have decided that you need to take a new direction after you've made a choice which direction that is you have been balanced within yourself, physically, mentally, emotionally. Then the princess or the prince of cup comes. And then there is love. And then there is a happily ever after. So guys and girls, please remember you are going to find true love it is on your path it is on your destination it's not somewhere you know far far away in the future it's very much there but yes you do need to heal as of now once you've healed you need to take some action you need to start um, balancing yourself you need to get out there start um, you know discovering new paths and take this decision whatever decision it is that you have in mind whether it is um, you know uh, should I sit at home or should I um, you know go dating where do I go dating should I look at a marriage website or blah 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 <clears throat> you know take that call because sitting around is not going to make anything happen you know really it's not going to be like there's a knock on the door one day and then somebody suddenly comes. Now this, if this was more so for, for singles, but if I see uh, for people in uh, a relationship already, it's possible that um, there's been some, um, uh, you know, there's been some sort of a, um, a revelation or um, there's been some sort of a, um, temporary chaos um, which has led you to understand your importance 
in this um, relationship and possibly possibly either uh, you don't want this relationship anymore or you find a different way to actually act and behave and take this relationship forward which is choose a new direction for the couples at this point i would suggest please do not be aggressive um your um energy should be calm should be receptive intuitive like the mother goddess like yin like the female energy this is not the time to be aggressive or active about anything this is the time to relax and let the universe do its work then i see for the couples that there needs to be some sort of decision that needs to be taken um whether that and that which would lead to uh which would lead to um, justice or balance it's possible here that someone's been you know um overworking um not really paying attention to the other and um you need to sort of you know like uh get off that bandage on your face and you know and and just take a call as to you know should i give this one more try or should i just walk off whatever the de- the decision finally um you will come into the energy of um the page of cups which is generally an offer of love or um um you know a message of love maybe somebody messages you or or on um, facebook or whatsapp an old friend someone like that um with um a, an offer of getting to know you better and then maybe that's what the choice is all about should i go for this new person or should i stick it out over here now that i've found my power and depending on that decision whether you take the decision for the new person or for the old person you are ending up here with the lovers and the ten of cups and it, this is a beautiful card beautiful card it's it's if you can see um a tree with a couple and a child um you know standing in front of the sea and you know they have everything because they have love you know so um yeah so this is this is what you're getting at the end of it so this entire journey is very well worth it <clears throat> right thank you so much i really hope that resonated with you um and now we shall go on to group number 2 Okay, card number one. Don't stop. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Card number two. Be flexible. Card number three. Heaven on earth. Wow. That's nice. And now for the tarot card. desire prince of wands four of cups the other tarot the hermit cups and the seven of pentacles 
Huh, so let's see what's going on here. that you took with relation to love the path you took was um, I mean you thought that you know the path that you took was the right one and you didn't want to stop but somewhere along the way I think you became so immersed in um, so immersed in your philosophy or your way of finding love that you probably became a little rigid about your concepts. Uh, the cards are asking you to be a bit flexible, yet not to stop, not to stop for, you know, uh, wanting true love, wanting a special relationship. This, that if that is the goal, there's nothing wrong with it. Don't stop, but be flexible about it. You know, when you're flexible, um, there are a lot many options that open up um, for you um, a lot many more people a lot many more um, opinions and uh, adjustments um, you do need to be flexible especially when it comes to things like love um, flexibility compromise um, these are the things that really are important in the long run. If you are that, um, I do feel that you can make your heaven on earth. This is um, the card called heaven on earth. And as you can see, all the flowers are blooming here. And there's uh, pink clouds. And everything is simply beautiful, dreamy, like a painting. Now, coming to the tarot cards, I'm seeing that um, there is a tendency, um, I do have uh, two major arcanas here, uh, one being the hermit and the other being the chariot. Now when I look at the hermit, I think you've probably gone into a tendency of uh, being uh, by yourself, not wanting to go out, being in a contemplative mood, um, maybe, um, you know, liking, starting to like your contemplative mood. So I think there is a need to come out and start um, hanging out with your friends start hanging out with friends go to a party and if you're not the party type you know you can always get together and go for a movie or have a meet up or you know something like that to get things moving if you are still uh, you know single and not coupled but um, if you are um, a couple I would say that you know you've gone into a mode of not talking of, of um, doing things by yourself the desire card is essentially the um, you know the card of uh, the chariot and um, the here the, cha the, the card uh, says in this deck the card says it's desire but actually uh, it's the chariot card so you know like you both have become lone wolves in this relationship um, you're the you're the white he's the black you know he, he's He's yin, you are yang, and so there is both of you operating apart from each other. And that is not a great situation. For singles, obviously, you have, you know, gone on a certain um, sort of a, you know, hibernation or, a, you know, hermit mode. So this is not really going to help at that moment at this moment you need to get out there you have done your work with the seven of pentacles you have 
<clears throat> you know uh, set up something and now it's time to go out there and actually you know um show your true self you know be flexible i would actually put these things together you know the six of cups and being flexible be flexible meet other people don't be rigid don't sit inside you know and um, think that things are going to happen just by magic you have to assist the universe somewhere as well now um there is also a four of cups and if you notice you know the four of cups and the seven of pentacles both of them are um sad you know they're by themselves they're sad and they just um are by themselves i mean i i don't see i see so much of solitude i don't see um people around um there is a desire you know to find love and and that also a true love a, a passionate love but um somehow this does not seem to be any um progress towards the goal there's nothing um no action that you've taken to get towards the goal and when you do take action i do see the prince of wands and prince of wands coming for you <clears throat> and then there will be heaven on earth okay you will find your love so um prince of wands is a person who is <clears throat> typically uh, from the fire element so this person will pursue you he won he's a passionate man he's somebody who is um, you know who who, who uh, will not let go of his passion so this person is coming up in your life very soon if you actually get out there and start meeting and you know uh, talking to people be flexible don't tighten it your goals and dreams and you know say that oh this is what i want i don't want anything else okay uh, don't limit your goals this person is there this person is coming if you're a guy then this is the queen of wands okay if you're a girl this is the knight of wands a passionate fiery direct person whom you will meet who will make you feel as though heaven is there on earth all right so i need uh, group number 2 to start getting out there and start doing something about their love lives if you are a couple <clears throat> then like i said it's time for you to stop the solitary solitary attitude and um, start interacting with your partner go out go for a walk go for some i don't know what is sports or um some activity together so that you can start bonding with each other because if you don't try um how is anything going to happen right so all the best for that <clears throat> now we come to the green aventurine bundle number 1 listen to your intuition card number 2 physical body card number 3 time for a nap the tarot cards triumph king of cups queen of cups temperance eight of wands and the hanged man okay let's look at this hmm So there are a lot of uh, major arcana cards in your spread, and that's really interesting. Which means it's a very powerful time. 
So very first come first, of course, in terms of love, um, this group needs to trust their intuition. If something is off, um, you need to let go of it. If something you feel um, is worth the effort, but doesn't look good, maybe external appearances. Um, if if something is telling you to stay back, if something is telling you to go, just go by your gut, your intuition. This will lead you to the best place possible. This will lead you to your love. Take care of your physical body at this time. This card is very much about. Um, it's possible that, you know, because, um, I mean, th this is obviously for both um, singles as well as um, couples. Maybe you have not been taking care of your body. Maybe you have been neglecting it because you and your partner are not really on talking terms. Um, or if you're single, you, you, you've you just let yourself go because, you know, you're... You're not very sure you're gonna get anybody and you get depressed and then and then you're like you know like why do i need to do all this and so you just let yourself go so um here the card focuses on you getting your attention back to looking looking good healthy fit start taking care of your body because your body is your body temple it's sacred and Another health related card which is sleep. It's time for a nap. You are not going to find love or love will not suddenly start flowing, you know, uh, just about tomorrow. So you can't set a timeline for this. You can all you can do is wait and let the universe get it for you. And that's why um you see this um, time out sort of card here that saying that um, you know um, um, it's time for you to uh, let go don't hold so tightly to this desire or this person you know that you forget or you neglect you start neglecting your body your sleep you know just don't get so focused on um, this person or this idea or goal rest take care of yourself listen to your intuition because you need to love yourself first it starts with you okay <clears throat> now I see So once again, um, I get the card of temperance, which is balance. You do need to balance your life. Your ba life is not balanced right now. It's possibly because, you know, uh, too many things, um, you've gone through too many things in a very short time recently, maybe about two, a month or two back. And so that has sort of, you know, um, upset the balance. So, um, you know, you do need to restore your balance. Eat a proper diet, go exercise, um, you know, uh, basically go out and meet people. Just get back to normal, you know, because I think it's been a bit of an intense few months uh, because I'm seeing the Eight of Wands, which is a whole lot of communication, talking, possibly travel, um, going to another um, location, spiritual insights, downloads. Um, you've gone through a lot and that has kind of made you the hanged man. I mean, uh, <laughs> you probably feel that, um, you know, you're hanging upside down in life. Uh, you know, maybe something upset your balance so bad. So you need to come right side up again, you know, and then begin your search or your goal of love and you know the best part is that it's going to come because this the cards that you have here are very very strong intense energy this is the world card actually in this deck it's the world card 
and um, it also in this deck says that it, it's triumph you know that means you're victorious in either you know like making your relationship working on your relationship and making it something triumphant or finding that love um, that you've always wanted and making that and 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 rejoicing in that so this is the world card this is the card of completion look at the way the two are embracing each other as though they've you know met after a long long time so yes this will happen this is there for you you're just going through a cycle where you feel lost unbalanced unloved you know start by loving yourself and you will get here you will try out and then I go to the King of Cups and strangely there's a couple here <clears throat> the King of Cups and the King of Cups and the Queen of Cups <laughs> so although they're facing here and there I mean the Queen faces um, the, the right side the King faces the left uh, uh, it, it's possible that uh, for singles, um, you know, that you don't know that you're going to meet your, you know, divine masculine or divine feminine, you know, your, your other half, your better half. You just are not aware. You're um, somewhere in your dreams just wishing and hoping that this happens. Okay, uh, you're yet not aware because the time has not come, but it will come with the triumph card here. For couples, I'd say that, you know, maybe there's been a little bit of a rift here, you know, maybe there's some quarrel or something like that. So, uh, the King of Cups looks mighty annoyed, <laughs> I'd say. And um, the Queen, Queen looks a little lost, I don't know, maybe it's that moon over there that's kind of um, sort of affecting her emotions. So, um you two are made for each other you two are meant to be together so this is just a tiny rift it's it's going to go it's not something that's permanent you'll come to the triumph you'll come to the union uh, very soon but you do need to let go of your egos um, <clears throat> start communication communication in between both these people here that we saw the king of cups and the queen of cups uh, will make this situation this hangman situation right side up you know and then there will be balance so the thing is that <clears throat> you know you need to actually start by you know within yourself and you will you know get to that union there might be some messages that either of you might send each other and then you're back together with each other this is just a temporary uh, you know sort of a rift happening for some people it's possible that this this um, there might be a feeling of having to wait for this rift to happen because we do have the hangman and it is a major arcana card and then we have we couple it up with time for a nap as well so it's possible that you know you might have to um, wait for some things to happen to get to the triumph part of it all right but then what i'm trying to say here is it's worth the wait because you are divine counterparts you are meant to be together that's already decided in the future okay and um uh this temporary uh period of waiting is just going to you know get easier if you accept that at the end of it at the end of this wait you know you have your partner with you so for the time being take a nap look after your body and listen to your intuition and that's the message from the universe i hope the message resonated and i will be um, recording more videos with different questions do let me know um, if you have any questions you'd like me to pick for it's been lovely talking to you bye bye